Okay, in this video we're going to explain some of the bandages and dressings and, and the supplies for for dressing a wound. And I'm going to have Lisa do this because she knows more about it. So kind of just explain what some of this stuff is. A lot of it's self-explanatory, but let's just kind of go over everything. So to start off with, you need a first aid kit. That's where this thing is. But the different types of dressings that you can use and you will need on a daily basis uh, two by two gauze, so it's just small gauze. Then you have four by four gauze, which is bigger. There's actually two gauze pads in each of these, this the four by four as well as the two by two. And what's really helpful on the side of each one, it actually has um, measuring. So you can measure, I mean, you don't have to use it just related to first aid, but you would have a measure right there. Band-Aids, different sizes of Band-Aids are important to have because the right size Band-Aid for the right size of the wound. You don't want to put a small Band-Aid on a big, huge wound. So, or even the, the knuckle Band-Aids and the butterfly Band-Aids. Yeah. So they stay on, actually. Yes. And then different types of cling gauze or rolled gauze um, is very helpful to have. So they have come in lots of different sizes. This is a little bit more stretchy. This is a bulky gauze, so it actually will absorb um, drainage. Those are good to so have. So you kind of pack the wound with those? No, you can you pack it, it or you can wrap it. It just depends on so the situation. So that's like a barrier between the skin and the, the adhesive, right? No, because you can use this. It depends on the person, the situation. You may use an adhesive, you may not. If you have something that's draining a lot, let's say you had a gunshot wound, you're going to use something on the wound itself, like gauze then you're going to use something to wrap it with because if you put an adhesive on this, it's not going to stick. Gotcha. So you're going to have lots of different sizes of gauze. Rolled gauze and the this flat gauze that acts like a band-aid, basically. You want to have different kinds of adhesive. So we have transport tape, which is nice if I can get it started because you can actually rip it. You don't have to. You have a scissors to cut it. And then this is silk tape, which is nice for people if they're, if they have any allergies. But it's, this one, sometimes you actually, it's hard to start, but then it's also hard to just rip. So you should have scissors to use that. And you do need scissors with any of your bandaging supplies because you gotta cut stuff sometimes. So that's really important, even though it's not considered a dressing. Duct tape, you can never go wrong with duct tape. Duct good tape, for everything. It's good for everything. You can use it in place of medical tape. You can use it for stereo with, strips. With duct tape, though, if, you don't want to necessarily have it to, on your skin, right? You it, want some a barrier between... It, it depends on the situation. If you don't have anything else and you have duct tape, it'll work. It's going to suck pulling it off. Yeah, but <laughs> at least you got something. Two different um, types of... These are also adhesive dressings. This is the people version. This is the people version too. So Coband, um, it's made by 3M, I think. And by people version, you mean you can get, it's called vet wrap, right? Yeah, you can use vet wrap, which is, it can be cheaper. Sometimes you can find it for 79 cents a roll. They come in different sizes. This, these two sizes are my favorite because you can use them on a multi, multiple different areas of the body. And those, depending on how tight you you bind those, right? It, it, those are elastic. They are elastic, and but they won't stick to the skin. But they can be constrictive. But we'll go over that in a future video because this is just basic stuff that you need. And an ace wrap, and then you can use ace wraps with the, the little clamps. I prefer not to use those because you could actually cut somebody with it or poke their skin and then you have a new wound. So I would use probably the, the transport tape and stereo strips. Stereo strips come in different sizes. Um, you can buy them as butterflies as well. And those are like band-aids on steroids, right? Those those These have... are they actually have this show people because it makes it easier. Steri strips you can use like if you have a cut and you don't have stitch, stitching stuff and you don't want to stitch, which I wouldn't recommend stitching anyway. But so 
they're really strong and you can make it so that it's like pulling the edges of the skin together in case of a cut and you can't get anywhere that you possibly needed stitches for. And these, you could actually put a piece of gauze under there, right, and use these to kind of secure it down if you had to? No, well, you could if you didn't have anything else, but these are really good for, for cuts that you want to bring the edges of the wound together. Gotcha. So if you put something underneath that, like a piece of gauze, you're going to lose that tension, and it's going to make it so that the edges aren't going to stay together. These will actually stay on, even in water. So, And then you can use um, different sticky stuff like Mastazol to help make it adhere even better and and they don't hurt that much pulling them off it's because they're paper tape and then they have they're reinforced with string so that's what gives it the strength cool and then what are the the rubber band things right there how could you use that as an adhesive or so a bandage you could use it as a bandage this is a tourniquet and they'll use these in like when you get your blood drawn and stuff give me your arm so like if you had something that you needed to put pressure on or stop the bleeding, it's like that. So but if you didn't have, let's you didn't have any you didn't have any tape, but you had two by two gauze. And bleeding out and here. Bleeding out. <laughs> you could literally put it on maybe. Can you just tie a little bow? You can tie a bow. Ow! <laughs> so, but that, I mean, that's like worst case scenario. If you if you had no choice and you had to have something, you can do that. Yeah, hold it on so you didn't have to hold it. Yeah. And the good thing about almost, I think almost all medical products, any of these that we have now, everything is latex free. So if somebody is allergic to latex, you don't have to worry. And it says all over it, no latex. No latex, latex free, no latex. Nitro gloves are latex free, it says that on the outside of it. Um, one more thing that's really helpful to have, this is a triangle bandage. This is something that you can use for someone if they broke an arm or hurt their shoulder. You can, it's basically, it's, it's a triangle bandage and I really don't want to open it up. But it just mobilize, or immobilizes a certain area? Yeah, so or a wrist, an arm. Um, keeps your shoulder immobilized so that it won't you won't have more more problems or pain hopefully or if you had a fracture it'll, it might keep it immobilized and keep the fracture so it's not causing pain and the bones aren't rubbing cool all right so in the next video or, or the couple next couple videos we'll go over some of the the safety precautions like the gloves and the mask and all that and some of the other supplies that, that you would need in your first aid kit, but... This is a good starting point, yep. so get this stuff. Until then, we'll talk to everybody later.